My G Pro Super Light has this really cool feature where it sounds like a maraca. Okay, yeah, that's probably not a good thing. So let's crack this thing open and see what's going on. So the first thing we have to do is take off the stock feet. If you're super careful doing this, you can salvage them, but this was the perfect excuse to replace them with some new ones. Then we can unscrew these six screws and take apart the shell. Yeah, that's the issue right there. Not gonna lie, I'm really happy it wasn't anything worse. Now we can put the shell back together, throw on the super glides, which like, these look sick, don't they? And now there's no more rattle and the mouse has never felt smoother. All fixed. That video is currently sitting at 2.1 million views. 2.1 million views, I'm not even kidding, that's insane. So with all those views, a bunch of people commented saying that they had the same exact issue and a few people commented asking if I could make a full length tutorial. So I figured this might come in handy for others out there that might wanna follow along and I have all the footage of the operation, so let's get into it. Let's consider this the extended short. So a quick recap, let's start off with the problem. So the problem is that the battery inside of the G Pro X came unattached from the top of the shell and we just pretty much have to open up the G Pro, go in there and restick it to the roof. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take off the bottom feet. Now, if you're super careful doing this, you can totally salvage those feet, but I'm not gonna lie, while you're doing this, you might as well just replace the feet. You can pick up a pair of PTFE feet for like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon, or if you wanna go all out and pick up some super glides, these will set you back around 25. So I used a mini pry bar from this electronic repair kit. These things are super handy, so if you don't have an electronic repair kit yet, make sure to pick one up. I got this at Walmart for like $15 and it it's come in handy for so many little projects. But if you don't have one, you can easily use like a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver. And what you wanna do is stick it in this little divot right here. That'll allow you to peel up those feet. So these feet should totally just come off as one big piece. I don't know why it's separated into top and bottom. Um, it, it definitely wasn't because I used a hairdryer to try to weaken the adhesive. That's, that's definitely, that's definitely not why. So yeah, maybe learn from my mistake and don't use a hairdryer. Then we wanna do the same thing for the bottom feet. So we're just gonna lift those up and peel them off. All right, now that we have the feet off, we can take our size zero, zero screwdriver and just go in there and remove the six screws that are underneath the feet. And make sure that you put your screws somewhere safe. Like you can see right here, I put them in this little tray. Okay, now we can gently take apart the top and bottom shell. And one of the things that you really wanna be careful for is that you don't bend this little ribbon right here. But yeah, here's the issue. So the battery just came off of the top shell. So all we have to do is just reattach this battery. So you can use like a double-sided tape or any kind of adhesive really, but I would definitely recommend using a glue dot. You can pick these up super cheap off Amazon, less than $10, and they come in handy for so many little projects. So in my case, I took the glue dot off, drew it on the back of the battery, of course, making sure that it was on there correctly, remove the backing, and then just place the battery back where it belongs. Then we can gently put the shell together and make sure that everything is in there, all held nice and secure by giving it a nice shake. And if that looks good, we can go ahead, put the screws back in, and once we're done doing that, go ahead and reapply your feet. But before I did that, I made sure to give the bottom side of the G Pro a nice clean wipe just to make sure to get rid of all that extra residue that was there from the old feet. Here, I'm just applying the super glides. And by the way, I love these things. I've been using them for about two weeks now. I haven't noticed any slowdown and I really do love the way that these feel. It definitely took a little bit of time to get used to, don't get me wrong. But once I got used to the super glides, it's gonna be hard going back to normal PTFE feet. It's just so insanely smooth. So that's really it. Hopefully this video helped you repair your G Pro Super Light. If it did, definitely leave a comment down below because I just, like to know if you were able to get in there and fix it yourself. But yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next one.